Hey friends! We have finally May. It's May the 4th <laughs> today. May the 4th be with you. And I'm checking out my new equipment here with my new GoPro setup so we can finally walk around with you getting motion sick. Um, just testing out the audio so I hope it's okay. But it looks like it's okay. And I just got the new one because we did have an old one, but I couldn't see myself talking. So I always like to see where I'm in the shot. So it's a little bit easier. And yeah, I also almost got it already ruined because I was painting those pots over there. <laughs> that wasn't easy, but let's get going a little bit. Let's get going in the garden. It is a beautiful day. Oh. Let's look at the seedling cart. Ooh. Aren't those gorgeous? So, as you can tell, they're getting hardened off. Tomatoes sitting here. I'm like rotating them through. Zinnias definitely ready. A little bit sun scold. I'm a little bit ruthless with my um, hardening off at times, so that can happen. And the cucumber melons are such a nuisance. They are getting planted tomorrow. <laughs> so they are going over there in one of those containers. The other one is Lufa, and I hope they will grow up um, and will populate the deck. So that would be wonderful. Let me show you what else is going on. The strawberries are looking fantastic. They just got fertilized last week and you can tell they basically jumped up all like by two inches and a lot of flowers here. Those are the June bearing ones as well. So they're a little bit ahead of the rest. So yeah, I really hope we can uh, protect them against the chipmunks this year. And look at those ones. They're actually one of my favorites. Those are one of the few tulips I still have with those ones together. They naturalized um, surprisingly well. Just look at that color, look at it. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. And the peonies is also rocking and rolling. So I'm excited now for spring to die back because for those two beds, I have a few shorter dahlias left, which I will put in. And my leftover geraniums will go alongside. So that is going to be beautiful this year. So I'm excited. And then we still have to amend the rest, which will hopefully happen tomorrow. But what we also did is to just give the piece in the middle something to latch onto. And that's just super simple, like weed it over. One of those things I did. And then the rest is pretty much all the same still got mowed. That's why it looks everything so nice. Mr. Ground in New England does it all times. Ah, sorry for the background noise. The highway is not far away. Unbelievable how quick all of those mosquitoes are already out. Ugh. Anyway, tomorrow we're planting potatoes. Um, might try a different video format because it's so hard for me sometimes and it slows down my process so hard when I'm like talking and planting at the same time. So I might try to record all the footage and do a voiceover exercise. We'll try and see. Please let me know if you like it or not. Um, I'm myself not sure if I'm liking, if I'm going to like it. So we'll see. Um, it better be because I don't have much time for a backup plan. Um, so we'll see. Because if I could just plan and record a bunch of things and then cut it together and do it voice over, of course, like structured, you know, I'm organized in those things, but I think that will speed up my times I take up for recording on weekends. And as the planting video, <laughs> planting um, weekends get more busy, that is appreciated if I don't take too, too much time for like recording footage and setting up footage, but we will see. And then. <laughs> Um, if you saw my Insta stories, I just painted the stairs um, at the front end, or not at the front entrance, as a side entrance, which is our main entrance, <laughs> and um, where I have always pretty container planted and now can actually take pictures without being annoyed how ugly the stairs look because they were like decaying. Um, 
and like paint coming off and all things like that. So I'm excited to have pretty pictures this season from my geraniums and the geraniums get planted tomorrow too. I do hope that my spray, like I've refreshed some of our containers with the spray paint, which I just showed you. Um, that was an incredible messy process. It did look good though. Took also three, four, um, <laughs> three, four spray paint bottles, uh, spray paint bottles, which I didn't expect, but they look great. But with that weird texture, it's like kind of thick and it doesn't feel like it's drying at all. It's also getting cooler today and they only have like tomorrow to dry because then it's rain again. We have at the moment still a lot of rain. That's also why the stairs took so long because we needed to have like a dry stretch of some sort. So um, although I got to say that like deck paint was almost paste and dried immediately. So that was helpful to the point that I was almost um, considering slapping that on the container. <laughs> But no, we're not doing that. I like the texture and that look and feel from them. Other than that, like the potatoes have priority because usually, now in previous years, I always planted them like beginning of May, last week of April or so. So we're pretty much on, on, on schedule with that. Um, but they definitely need to get in the ground to get going. I hope the week with rain won't make them rot. hope not. Um, the good thing with the grow bags is always that they are like very, very well draining, so they won't, won't be sitting in, um, soil, but yeah, so that has priority than the geraniums because they are starting to get grumpy in their small containers <laughs> by, um, the minute as they grew so fast. And then I just need to find a home for the remaining ones, but I have a few people <laughs> in mind for those and yeah, yeah. I haven't decided yet when I'm planting my um, tomatoes and peppers yet. I am just hardening them off just to have them when I want to pull the trigger. I have the 15th to, through the 17th, like Wednesday through Friday off to have like an almost a week off to, to do all the plantings. Um, but with a forecast looking, it could be also a little bit earlier, but I'm a little bit too concerned that we get like a last May cold snap or so like last year my zinnias and my basil were like grumpy for two months about it <laughs> they did in the end like flowered and grew and everything but it set them back quite a bit and i just don't want to have want to have that for my beautiful florette zinnia so we'll see but yeah i also topped off my um snapdragons the one who looked so so sad um because they were too tall so they start to look slightly better <laughs> slightly but i know they will do just fine they will come around um snapdragons are surprisingly hard and <laughs> um easy to sustain when it comes to any type of abuse so yeah they are surprisingly easy to grow so i'm sure they will come up yeah and then otherwise some roses are coming up already and budding up and i said like, oh i can't wait to have my roses back and oh there it is do you see it Oh, let's go. There, 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 there. Uh, not happy about that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're enjoying gardening as well already. And let me know what you're up to. I always love to discuss this with you in the comments. And otherwise, yeah, talk to you next week.